you please welcome the mighty, the powerful Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to the show. Senator, it's so good to see you. Welcome back to the show. How are you? Where are you? Where are you zooming in from? I'm actually in my office in Washington, in the Capitol, actually, James, down the hall. That officer, Goodman, diverted those insurrectionists, those sons of guns, away from the Senate. Had he come, had he not done that, maybe I wouldn't be on your show. Oh, my... Is that, hang on, how many, how many feet away are we talking? Oh, I'd say 30. 30 feet? What yeah, went through your yeah. mind then? What went through your mind when you realized that that was 30 feet away? It was such a whirl, you know. I, you, you had to take back your recollection afterwards and realize how much danger you were in because your adrenaline was pumping. You knew what was going on. And this man saved us. He's a hero. We gave him the Congressional Medal of Honor. He deserves it. I saw that. It was absolutely brilliant. So were you in this office at that moment? I was on the Senate floor right nearby. Right, right nearby. I right got, across the hall. I gotta say, Senator, I do like the look of this office. It's very fancy. <laughs> Great chat. Now, um... What am I supposed to say? I have a fancy office. Let me tell you what I have here, James. Go on. Which is a great perk for me. Go a on. fireplace. I never had a fireplace in Brooklyn. We don't have them in Brooklyn. But here, you use these starter logs. And oh, yeah. Even a kid from Brooklyn can light a great fire every time. I light them all the time. I, so, hang on. You're in there. You're stoking up a fire. You're changing the country. I love it. And I also love yeah. that I'm imagining you now smelling of a real log fire, which I actually think is yeah. the most sensual a man can smell. <laughs> yeah. no. I do. Well, it's better than a lot of other ways a man can smell, isn't it? <laughs> Now, this is an exciting well, seriously, time. Seriously, James, the best perk I have, frankly, seriously, is the ability to put bills on the floor of the Senate. Today, we put Deb Holland on the floor, first Native American to ever be in the cabinet. The Native American community, long neglected, long abused, will have a voice, and she'll also prevent the oil companies, as Interior Secretary, from running over our public, our beautiful public lands. And then last week, I put the AR ARP bill on the floor. People are getting checks. People are getting vaccines. Half the kids in America won't, have po won't be in poverty. Yeah. So the ability to put a bill on the floor, McConnell never would have put any of these things on the floor, is the real important part of this job, even more important than the fireplace. I also, <laughs> I also, I also don't know if Mitch McConnell ever lit a fire. <laughs> Doesn't need to. Carries his home on his back. <laughs> Um, <laughs> now, now, it's been reported that some of your staff have... They have rules for you when you're <laughs> appearing in public. Can you explain? What sort of rules are we yeah, talking? I've had three rules all the years I've been, in this, I've been in the Senate. In public, no singing, no dancing, no hats. But, James, rules are made to be broken. <laughs> These little town blues... Hey! <laughs> I want to be a part of it, New York, New York. Oh, that would be sensational. Get the man a hat immediately. <laughs> now, so... <laughs> oh, this... I mean, I didn't... See, cancel Sam Smith. <laughs> we don't need Sam Smith. Senator, Senator's <laughs> going gonna to stay around. He's going to sing us out at the end of the show. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> now, this is a very exciting time. Uh, President Biden signed the $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill. Checks have started going out the past weekend. Congratulations on all of the incredible work you did to get that across the line. It's going to mean so much to so many people. But there is concern, understandable concern in many respects, that some of this money will be will be misdirected to, to, to the wrong places. How, how do you prevent that from happening? It's a great question, and we have to be very careful because those who don't want to see the government do anything will look and pick at that. But the bottom line is, first, the administration has just chosen this guy, Gene Sperling, one of the most capable people I know, and he is looking over this to make sure the money goes where it is. But another good thing about this, James, most of the money goes directly to people. Yes. The checks are going directly to people. The vaccine money is just going to vaccines to put in people's arm. The unemployment money will go to them. The rent, the people that help, the money that helps people from 
uh, being kicked out of their houses will go exactly to pay the rent. So the largest part of this can't be abused because it goes directly to people. And that's how we tried to make it work. That's what we wanted to happen. People got the money, not different programs, not governments, but people. The minimum wage increase was something that was, was yeah. talked about a lot. It didn't make the COVID relief bill. What, people are wondering if that could ever happen. We have lots of young people who work on our show. We talk a lot about student loan forgiveness, yeah. which was talked about a lot on the campaign. How, are these things actually doable or no, are they campaign promises? Well, the minimum wage, I wish had gone to 15. We didn't yeah. quite have the votes for it, but we're going to keep fighting for that. If you work all day, you should live a life in dignity, not a life in poverty. The student loans, that's still in play. Elizabeth Warren and I said the president should forgive $50,000 in student loans. And the good news here, James, we don't need legislation. He can do this with a flick of a pen. So many kids get out of college yeah. and then on into later years and they have this huge, instead of college being a ladder up, the debt is an anchor down. Yeah. And it would be so good for them. They could start their lives in a better way. They maybe could buy a car, start a family, uh, decide what business or a profession they wanted. But we can get this done. I'll tell you one other thing about it. The racial uh, wealth gap, a lot of it is student loans, a disproportionate number of young uh, uh, people of color have these loans because they were duped first time trying to go to college and some white people, many white people too, by these for-profit colleges and they emerge with no degree and a huge amount of loans. But we can get this done and I'd urge your listeners, email, write, tweet, do whatever you can to let Biden, President Biden know. He, I've told him we're trying to get a campaign on this and he welcomed it. So push away, we can make this happen. I would love all of our listeners to do that. <laughs> I'd also love some of our viewers to do it, but if you're just listening, it's actually the best way. It's the best way to take in the show. It really is. Because let's be honest, me and you, Senator Schumer, this is, we are, we're made for the radio. That's the truth of it. Now, we have uh, over 100 million vaccinations have already been administered, which is a, a tremendous accomplishment for, for the Biden administration. People are talking a lot about July 4th as a, as a possible return to what we would call, you know, normal life will... Will, will Chuck Schumer, will he be having a small gathering? Will the grill be opened? Will it be fired up? Yeah, I, we don't have a, you know, being a Brooklynite, living in an apartment house, we don't have a grill. But I have lots of friends who do. Here's what I love. July 4th, hamburger, hot dog, once in a while a steak, and no bun. I'm gluten free, you may not know that. So I eat the straight hamburger, straight hot dog, and you know how I make the steak, James? Go on. Black on the outside, blue on the inside. They call it Pittsburgh. That's how I love it. Let the flames get way high, burn the outside, keep the inside blue. Yummy. Great. Look, it's bombshell after bombshell tonight. <laughs> it's bombshell after bomb... We've had a song. We've, we've heard about a gluten intolerance. <laughs> it's a cooking show. <laughs> Senator Schumer, he might be up there in the top top five guests of all time. Uh, I want to talk to you about this photo that you shared, Senator. You originally shared this photo of your grandson oh, yeah. here with your parents, which is, is a moment... It, so many senior Americans, so many families can, can relate to this, seeing family together for the first time in over a yeah. year. Talk about this day. How much did this mean to you? Oh, huge. You know, my, my dad is 97, my mom is 92. My dad, incidentally, he suffered his whole, you know, he struggled his life. He had this small little junkie exterminating business. My brother and sister and I would hear him at 2 a.m. Sunday morning, some Monday morning, Sunday night, pacing the floor, because he hated going to work. It's a tough, the small business person has such struggle. And that's why I worked hard to get help for small businesses and restaurants and stages in because I saw how my dad struggled. But then he retired. And then he became a happy guy. And you know, the greatest joy in his life is his great grandson. For a year, he couldn't see him. Now they got the shots. They're over 85. Um, and for the first time, he saw him on um, Sunday. What a joy. What a joy to watch TV. It's a beautiful thing. And I know what a hard life he lived, and he's now so happy. Yeah, God is good. What can I say? Now, you mentioned the, the Save Our Stages bill, which we, we spoke about. I, I remember vividly yeah. talking about it last time you were on the show. This is... The bill's been passed. Um, 
it, it's an absolutely tremendous and vital thing that you've done to so many places and, and organisations. When can people expect to see the relief yeah. from that Save Our Stages Ooh. bill? So just today, we confirmed the head of the Small Business Administration, and they're in charge of sending out the money. I met with her a few weeks ago. I said, we got to get moving here because our independent venues are really hurting. Absolutely. And so many other people, the artists and everybody else who depend on them. And in about two weeks, I think people should begin uh, be, being able to see some money there. And it goes, it's a six month loan. It goes till September, God willing, COVID's over. Um, they'll be back in New Yorkers and people around the country will be mixing and mingling and even dancing and singing in public. Well, you know it's going to be top of the bill. Yeah. Senator Chuck Schumer wearing a hat, singing New York, New York. I don't doubt it for a second.